That looks like fun, dressed up as a package for the day. Well, I think we have our first of the high school floats uh, coming up, Debbie, and this is the group from Loyola High School. One of the, well, in fact, the newest high school in town. I don't know where Loyola is myself. Where is it, Mike? I believe we're talking up in the Glen Abbey Project, which again, like uh, the River Oaks area, is a very, very expanding active, part yeah. of town. Well, you got to do something when you have a golf course in the middle of your house, eh? Middle of your... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. One of the extracurricular activities is uh, in the sporting program is on the driving range. Yeah. These girls look like they're having a great time. You know, I recall from my high school days that this was a, a time of year that we really look forward to putting the float together. A lot mm -hmm. of uh, school spirit involved in putting the float together. I see their flutes called, or their floats called, our link to the future, our light from the past. We've just been asked for Jennifer to get well. Okay, I Jennifer. I think you know, Jennifer, who you are. Okay. Now we've got coming along after them the Bronte District Guides and Brownies, and there's 75 of them walking along. You know, if there's one thing we've seen so far in this parade is an awful lot of walking gifts. Yes. Now I've got I've got them listed here as the Brockwood District Girl Guides, and they've been ex in existence for the past 16 years. And their boundaries are west of Third Line, south of Rebecca, east of Burton and Ashby, and north of Upper Middle and Glen Abbey. And their their district has grown so much; they're becoming such a really really big troop. The Remember, guide, the guide movement, and the scouting movement both are very very active in this town. You know, yeah, I was a girl guide, and I was a, a brownie, and I was a ranger. And, but I swear, I was a lot bigger than these kids are. It seems to me that girl guides are getting younger and younger and younger. There's a little girl maybe thinking about wanting to be a girl guide. And they're starting younger these days, so she's probably getting to the age where she's just about to start. Yeah. They look like they're having fun. There's the brownies with their distinctive orange and white ties. That's one thing that hasn't changed since I was a brownie. You no, know, the more times change, the more they stay the same. That's right. It's good to see some of those traditions stay the same. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that this was a high school float here. Oh, no, I th there you go. I was wrong. <laughs> No, but I'll tell you, they're doing the right thing, aren't they, today? Yep. These are the folks from Body Fit. Okay. Body Fit is an exercise program with 10, uh, 10 instructors in the Oakville area. It's a one-hour program done in church halls, school gyms, and other exercise facilities and in affiliation with the Parks and Recreation uh, people. Body Fit offers three levels of exercise, trim, um, an aerobics and cardiovascular workout, trim and dance, which is choreographed dance workout, and body stretch, a lower level, no bounce exercise program for the people just working, to getting back into exercise. So there's no excuse, you can just take it as it comes. And as my tootsies freeze off, I think I'm going to leave, join the float, and work out with them. <laughs> I don't think it's the workout you want from the looks of that float. <laughs> Well, here's a very unmistakable entry into the uh, the parade this year, a horse-drawn wagon from the ranch. The ranch is located on Brawny Road, just north of Highway 5, and they offer a scenic trail riding, western riding lessons, summer day camp, and beautifully, it says beautifully scenic hay rides. And they're open all year round. Beautiful, beautiful horses. Now, what kind of horses are those, Mike? Am I wrong? Are they Clydesdales? I think they look like Clydesdales. Do you remember when you were really little and you saw Clydesdale's horses and you thought they were the biggest thing in the world? They still are. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> and I know that one horse is a quarter horse for sure, though it's not on the screen now, but I only know that because my aunt used to raise them. That looks like a nice warm place to be up on a horse. The ninth Trafalgar Boy Scouts. All dressed oh. up in their uniforms, bearing the colors. Followed up by their float closely behind. Can you hear what they're chanting? 
No, I can't, but I bet they're prepared. <laughs> I'll bet you they are. <laughs> that's something that's never changed either, their, their slogan, be prepared. And I notice uh, lately the scouts have a lot more women leaders. They used to just have mostly men, but they seem to have a lot more women leaders these days. Absolutely. There's an awful lot of people getting, I think, back into the scouting movement. I know myself, I got back involved here in Oakville this year and to guide the education of a, a boy in his extracurricular activities along the way is really quite a rewarding experience. Now look at this. There's another dragon of another color. And these are the folks from the Oakville Martial Arts. The Oakville Martial Arts Club was officially introduced to the general public on November the 11th of 1985, after having been existent since 1977. Throughout the joint efforts of the senior members and students of the Jingmo Kung Fu Club in Toronto, and what well would later done. become known as the Oakville Arts Club, with the approval and blessing of a gentleman whose name I cannot pronounce. Uh, the club continues to provide competent instruction in the Hung style of Kung Fu. Oh my! <laughs> The traditional lion dancing and dragging dancing are incorporated in the cultural aspect of the student's training. There's the Labrador we were talking about. He really likes this. He doesn't know what to make of it. We have coming along greetings from the 9th Oakville Beavers, Cubs, and Scouts. We've got some more beavers. I think they're switching the order of these floats around, Mike, just to keep us hopping. I think so. Keep us apart. <laughs> these guys all look pretty enthusiastic here, letting us know who they are. Now you notice the, uh, the beavers and the cubs are with this group, but the scouts aren't here today mm -hmm. because they're away at camp. And I know that because the Ninth Oakville Scouts are the troop that I'm involved with. Exactly what kind of camping are they doing in this weather? They're doing winter camping, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> oh, geez, I don't think so. That's one of those things in high school, one of those high school activities I skipped out when they went to Algonquin Park and sat in the snow for a few days. I notice along the way we keep having the odd car from Oakville React again. Here we got another one of your favorites, Mike. Another antique truck. This one's sponsored by the Oakville Lions Club, another one of our very active service clubs. And they want us to share the flame, which is the Olympic slogan. Oh, there's some more of our clowns. <laughs> I think we're losing your audio there, Mike. When is the flame coming through, Oakville? It should be through the De December 24th, yeah, yeah. And it's just the Oakville share the flame disappearing out of our town. That should be very exciting when they, now here we've got a little friend of ours here from I'm not quite sure where visiting. I'll bet you he's nice and warm in that costume. We've got some, if I had to guess, that's a high school. And I think that's Queenie Park. You know your... I know my colors. We've got it as Purdue on our sheet, though. No, oh, Queenie Park is absolutely right. That's right. I know my colors. You're sure, eh? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Purdue to me, Mike. I only know that because I work with somebody who has a beautiful burgundy and gray sweater from Purdue High School. Wish I could hear what they were spelling so I could be sure it was Purdue. We'll have to wait for their sweaters to come back. Here's a little youngster enjoying it. Yep. <laughs> oh, get those mittens on and keep those fingers warm. GP, once again, you're right, Debbie. It is Gordon E. Purdue. Once again, I think that's the first <laughs> time today, but you're giving me credit where I don't deserve it. That's I know all my right. colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. And it looks like they're heading down to their float there. 
That's something about the high schools. They're always so enthusiastic. You get your cheerleaders, and they always, the high, kids in the high school floats are always yelling and screaming, and they have a really, really good time. We have some pretty active high schools in this area mm -hmm. as well. You know, Oakville really is a community town. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. rallies behind uh, an event such as this. It has a good time at it, too. Yeah, and you used to get, as I recall, when I used to do floats, you used to get about half a day off school, at least once a week, to put the thing together. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. You were too I busy. Missed half you were days in the chess off. club, and you missed all the half days off. I see the float coming along here now. What I always wondered from is where do they always get the big trucks from? Everybody's always got these great trucks tugging them along. Where do they get the trucks from? They're probably the ones that work on the shop. Yeah, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess in a school that size, somebody's always got to have a dad who drives a truck. Looks like they've got a caboose up there. Now that's really quite a good float. How did they do in the competition this year, Debbie? Well, let's just take a look here. High school floats. Gordon Purdue won the third prize, which was sponsored by Oakville JCs. So if this is a third prize float, I'd sure like to see the winning float. We're in for some nice ones. Yeah. They got third prize. Uh, second prize was the T.A. Blake Lock, which was donated by Longo's Fruit Market. And the first prize, a uh, school, which actually, by the way, won a computer, which is a fantastic mm. prize, donated by Computerland, was the Queen Elizabeth Park float. So we've already had that one go by. That's There's right. Queen Elizabeth yeah? Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Mike. You redeemed yourself. Here's the Clarkson Navy League. Who were originally supposed to have 30 people marching side by side, but I think the troops are a few less than that at this point. The Cadet Corps is a youth group for boys and girls aged 10, 11, and 12, and they meet every Tuesday night from 6.45 to 9.15 at Sheridan Villa on Truscott Street between South Down Road and Winston Churchill Boulevard. They learn about sailing, boating, steamship drill and leadership and t excuse me and take part in many trips and competitions new cadets are always welcome as they march off in the sun